was a packed house at the State House today for the annual Mass Mentoring Partnership Youth Mentoring Day. And 22 News reporter Ellen Fleming was there and explains how youth mentoring is helping change students' lives. It was a sea of advocacy as youth mentors and their mentees took to the microphone as well as the halls of the State House to speak on the importance of mentoring in our state. Mass Mentoring Partnerships work brings youth in the state into mentoring relationships to help guide them along their way. In fiscal year 2024, the mentoring matching grants line item in the budget was increased to $1.8 million from $1.5 million. This additional money allowed Mass Mentoring Program to reach more programs, increase the number of mentor matches, and decrease the amount of youth on the wait list. They are seeking level funding in the fiscal year 25 budget. Now, Omar is both a mentor and mentee, and he believes these programs are crucial to the youth in Massachusetts. I want to show people that it doesn't matter like where you come from, but if you have someone to help you, you can really achieve anything you want. There are some regional divides when it comes to needs, with Janine saying kids from rural areas may be impacted differently. Across the state, what we have been seeing, and, and in Western Mass, um, of course, as well, um, a lot of young people, again, after COVID, dealing with um, the effect of the pandemic on their mental health. And so particularly, especially some of those rural towns out in Western Mass where maybe there aren't as many resources, maybe aren't as many places to go talk to someone, mentorship is an important intervention that can help fill that gap. After the event, the youth advocates then went on to lobby their state lawmakers. Now, if you're interested in becoming a mentor or a mentee, you can head to our website at wwlp.com for more information. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.